So uh, just, uh, just to say that Denis and Nicole are part of the post-secondary education diaspora because they used to be at a community college near, near right here. So, um, so next up is uh, Chris Fernland and, um, sorry, let me get the name right. Uh, Chris Fernland and Ellen uh, Newman. Um, Chris, are you here? Great. Excellent. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Perhaps, yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris, and this is Elham. I am the lead of student supports for eCampus Ontario, and Elham is a current student at the University of Toronto who is working with us in the Student Experience Design Lab, which is the long form for the SXD Lab. So we're here to discuss and highlight a problem. Sorry? Keep talking. Oh, okay. Sorry. No worries. So we're here to really highlight and discuss a problem, or really a design challenge that the SXD Lab could potentially tackle. And Really, the problem that we're working on specifically is around competencies, specifically competencies that aren't really formally recognized by a degree or a diploma, and how such competencies could really be you know, hosted and really reflected on systems such as a co-curricular record, and how, how badges can sort of be a part of that process in a way. So the problem really in its current state is an unrefined problem statement. Again, this is sort of a different sort of system and we're not really talking about an actual challenge with the goal of actually finding a solution today. We're really here to really pitch an unrefined problem statement with the goal of really understanding the problem that we want to solve so that as a lab we can work with students to actually solve problems that are you know, really benefit and relevant to students and are actually ensuring that we're solving the right problem. But, Really quickly, just a little context on the SXD Lab. The SXD Lab really is a hub that empowers students to take charge of their education and to really focus on problems that are affecting them directly. And um, similar to a scientific lab, we really set up students in an environment where they can test, they can explore new concepts and ideas, and really through a human-centered design approach, start solving problems that are really impacting them. And, but I think in our view at eCampus Ontario, the purpose of the SXD Lab sort of extends beyond just making and doing. I mean, we have a higher education system that exists to serve students. And I mean, all of us, some of us here today have jobs in education, and we all serve a function on some level, which sort of feeds into like a holistic larger system that, you know, is really meant to cater towards students. And, Again, we all serve a function which holistically feeds into this larger system that should arguably be about one purpose, which is knowledge acquisition and growth. And not just that, but what's actually purposeful learning and, and really meaningful opportunities for students, which badges could sort of compensate. And I'm, I'm sure most of us have heard or even subscribed to some alarmist views that education isn't serving its core focus. And I'm not here to make any bold statements about education ought to be about garnering employment or really being a catalyst to becoming a better Better citizen. But what I will say boldly is that students historically have been excluded from meaningful participation in the design and operation of the system that does work to serve students. So jumping back to the refined problem statement, Elham. Yeah, so um, we all are pretty aware of the person who came up with this equation, but he has a quote that really speaks to the kind of problem uh, uh, refinement that we're looking for. So Einstein was saying that if he had a, an hour to solve a problem and my life depended on the solution, I would spend the first 55 minutes determining the proper questions to ask, for once I know the proper question, I could solve the problem in less than five minutes. So d defining the problem is strangely simple, but it's a decept deceptive task because what first seems to be the problem is usually a sim symptom of a deeper issue. So for today's purposes, we want to open the problem up and discuss it in a way that can be examined from a number of angles. So that way we can define the wider context and associated issues evol involved. So. Um, the future project scope, uh, there are a few areas of focus 
a few areas of focus or components for this prospective project. So the first is competency uh, recognition and what types of experiences or knowledge sets are not captured by a degree or diploma. And the second is a co-curricular record, which if you're not familiar with what exactly it is, they're commonly used to gain sort of recognition within post-secondary institutions on types of either soft or core skills that are not necessarily taught within the university environment. So the third component would be the micro-credentials. So how exactly do these badges fit into the ecosystem of co-curricular um, records? So is there a way to amalgamate these systems all into one? So of course, a lot of these questions are simply unanswered because of the scope of which it's involved in. And so we wanted to leave you with a few draft problems that we came up with. And if you could just help us with refining our how might we statement. So how might we exactly redesign a co-curricular record system with open badges to provide structured, widely recognizable methods of capturing non-academic skills and experiences? Or how might we rethink the co-curricular record into accommodating open badges? Or maybe even how would it provide a widely structured recognizable method for capturing these academic skills and experiences? And it's a quite high level problem, so we invite you to help us with trying to define this. And really quickly, the announcement we'd like to make is that eCampus Ontario will be investing in the SXD lab in a design research project. So our challenge here today is so much really to discover what the challenge ought to be. I mean, you're the experts in the room, and we really want to understand your priorities. So we can really hone in on an optimal sort of, not just a design statement, but understanding really the systems that we're working with so that we can work with students and really start kicking off these projects and designing solutions that are important to students. Thank you.